Well, the Ryder Cup may be over, but the vacation is still in full swing for a lot of sports fans. Early numbers suggest that this year's Ryder Cup had around 250,000 fans. That's at least 10,000 more fans than the last one near Chicago in 2012. And as Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us, six days of golf just was not enough for some visiting sports fans. Cheers. Cheers. It's not every Monday that the newsroom sports bar is swimming with day drinkers. We had to wait to find somewhere that opened to start drinking. We had no choice. Starting on Wednesday, we started seeing people, and all weekend long, uh, they love to eat, they love to watch their sports, and uh, it's been great. Some are in town just for the Vikes. From New Jersey, representing, um, here to support the Vikes on the big Monday night game. Others are double dipping. We went to the Ryder Cup all day yesterday, it was fantastic, and uh, just planned this weekend around the Ryder Cup and the Vikings game tonight. You're doing both. Yeah. We're doing both. One event or two, these visitors all indulged. And I know. I'm not just talking about booze. None of us have looked at our credit card statements, and um, we don't want to ever. So one of us is married, not me, but him. And, um, and I hope she does not see the bill. The city, I think, performed exceptionally well last week uh, for the Ryder Cup. Early numbers suggest it may have been the biggest Ryder event yet, with $55 million plus in revenue. And a home Vikings game? could mean 10 million extra dollars. We couldn't have asked for a, a better post Ryder Cup event for those folks that might want to stick around for a few more days to uh, impact a little bit more of the local economy. It seems this week, USA golfers aren't the only ones who walked away with a win. Excellent time, though. yes, and go America. Now let's talk numbers here. We're estimating about 325,000 plus people are in the Twin Cities. So hey, the state of Minnesota won big this weekend. 